Well, next, they got the product but did not pay the bill. A 2 News investigation uncovers a local university owes at least two small businesses in Ohio thousands of dollars. Natalie Tindall has the details she uncovered. Well, according to Wilberforce University, it has increased enrollment and retained its accreditation after restructuring. They've even announced a new multi-million dollar construction project to the dorms. But we found out they're still struggling to pay some of their vendors. These business owners are worried. They both say Wilberforce University owes them money and hasn't paid up in months. That has a major effect on on my company. Robert Rosencrans is the managing partner at the Walden Inn, which is a luxury getaway in Aurora, Ohio. That's where Wilberforce held a staff retreat last year for more than 20 employees. Between guest rooms, meals, and the use of the conference center, the total bill for the retreat was more than $30,000. Ten months later, they still owe $21,000. Well, we've certainly been frustrated you know, between phone calls, emails, not responding, kind of responding, someone else has got to look at it, and the runaround, we're still, still basically at zero. Two News Investigates found the Walden Inn isn't the only outstanding bill Wilberforce has. David Duberstein with David's Uniforms in Dayton tells us the university also owes him $1,300. We had to close the account because we just couldn't let them charge anymore because that was the limit that we could let them have without paying. Both business owners say they're not getting any answers from Wilberforce or money. We've heard nothing from them. We've gotten totally stonewalled and no communication whatsoever. And both are starting to feel the impact. I've got payroll and taxes and, and all of our vendors that require payment. Last summer, Two News Investigates found the same thing was happening to another local business in Beaver Creek. At that time, Mark Wilson with Wilberforce told us the incident was an oversight and paid them. He said the university was back on track financially. We want to make sure that we have the right reputation in the community and that folks understand and know that we value who it is that we partner with and we want to make sure that everybody's fully paid. We contacted the university again asking why they're spending money if they can't pay their bills. We asked them three times for an interview and just received a written response from the senior vice president of business and finance. It said, quote, we're aware of all of our obligations that occurred prior to the current administration and we're working to make all of our vendors whole. Wilberforce named a new president last July. These business owners say they don't want any more excuses. They just want to get paid. Wilberforce is a pillar of the Miami Valley, and uh, we really wouldn't expect them to default the way that they've done here. Now, according to our partners at the Dayton Business Journal, Wilberforce University is looking to sell part of their campus to help them pay off some debts. We'll be checking back in with these businesses and Wilberforce to make sure they get paid. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates.